Okay, let's sit and meditate for a few minutes. Hainam Pawanaya Sapakdin. Try to let go of all the concerns you've had so far this morning, all the running around the mind has been doing. Let it settle down right here. Circle around the body for a bit to see if everything is okay. Any parts of the body that feel tense, you can relax them. In front and back to left, right, above and below. And then you can settle in. By settling in means you just stay right here with the sensation of the breath. And as for any other thoughts that might come through the mind, you don't have to follow them. Some people try to say, I can't meditate because there are other thoughts in my mind. Well, they can be there, but you don't have to pay attention to them. They don't destroy your breath. It's like the noise of the birds out there or whatever else. It doesn't destroy your breath. The breath is right here. It's just a matter of hanging on to the breath, not letting anything else pull you away. You know there are sounds, you know there are thoughts, but you don't go for them. And that right there puts you in a much better position, because you don't have to figure them out, you don't have to comment on them, you don't, all the things the mind has to do, or that it usually does with those thoughts. You just let it go, let it go. When you hang on to it, you hang on right here. Because the mind needs a place to rest, it needs a place to settle down. Otherwise, its thinking can run wild without any real basis in reality and co end up causing you a lot of trouble. So know when to basically turn off the thoughts. In other words, turn off your interest in the thoughts. It's, just no, no, it's like knowing how to turn off a radio. The radio waves are still there in the air, but the radio station is not picking them up. It's like turning off an engine. All the things that would make the engine work are still there, but you're not running the engine so it doesn't get overheated, it doesn't get worn down. Because the mind, if you use it too much, does get worn down. Your thinking processes get worn down. And if your awareness could get worn down in the same way, you'd be in really bad trouble. That's the one thing that stays resilient. Whatever happens, you're aware, but your awareness can be foggy, it can be bright, but there's always awareness there of some kind. But it's the thinking that wears the mind down, and that's what you've got to work on. If you're going to think about anything, think about the breath. Let your, let your thoughts spin around the breath right here. As for thoughts that would pull you away, just let them go. That's the way the mind gets to rest. It's like knowing how to care for an engine, knowing how to care for, say, a knife. You don't just keep using, using, using it all the time. You have to stop and look after it. So here's the time to stop and look after the mind. So when the time does come that you need to use it, it's ready and it's sharp. <laughs>